Hey everyone, um, I'm just making a quick haul video that I got from uh, the toy room um, uh, in Lafayette. That store is amazing. Um, such a great experience. I always wanted to find a store that has like Detoff, Detoff case, uh, cases? I think that's what they called, I think. Or like shelves with like loose transformers. Because um, I love that stuff. <laughs> Um, and they're usually pretty cheap on prices, but, um, and he has some, um, a lot of Transmetal Beast Wars figures, but a lot of, they also other different things, um, and, uh, I have sold some stuff to him, um, I'm not quitting collecting, um, I'm just trying to make my collection smaller, and, um, for as, uh, I'm just trying to save, I don't know, some space. I know Kingdom's coming out, and the uh, movie uh, eighty six studio series. Um, I think after Kingdom, uh, that's it for me for collecting. I think at that point, I I would just be out. Um. um so. Um, but I am still going to make uh, toy hunts and stuff. <laughs> Uh, some kind of reviews type videos. <clears throat> so, uh, to show y'all what I have got. Um, okay. So, first I'll show this guy. This guy is actually tall. He's a Voyager size. This is, uh, I think, the first form of uh, Transmetal um, Optimus Primal. Obviously, this isn't his gun. Um, he is missing his maces and his actual gun, and I got that uh, coming in soon. I did get these in, his uh, chrome knee pads from a uh, collector. So he hooked me up to that. This was only $15 without uh, the knee pads, and I'm like, okay, I'll take it. He had a 32 I think it was like price 32 I should have got it because... With buying the parts, I probably spent more than 32 just trying to complete them. So that's one regret that I wish I could have took back. But um, nevertheless, this guy's awesome. <laughs> he is one of my favorites. I uh, Beast Wars was actually my first introduction into Transformers. Um, and as a kid, I, I had some, but I always, like pop off the limbs and like I don't know I would lose them and he's I don't know I think I was like too young to um <laughs> for them I guess I don't know but um this guy is awesome and yeah he's a Voyager size I don't um here's Asher train that I got from Ross uh, I mean He's a little bit uh, taller, I think. But, um, that's him. Uh, put that right here. Oh, jeez. So, I got him on my first uh, trip there. Such a wonderful store, man. I, I tell you. Um, I also got... He, he didn't come with this gun. This is a... This is one of my guns that... Um, it fits pretty nice in his hand, I think. And I have, this didn't come with it either. That doesn't even belong to him. But he did come with the tail. This guy is, uh, pretty show accurate. I think both of them are pretty nice. Um, as accurate as the show. Um, and the chrome looks nice. <laughs> um, uh, I'm so happy that Alfonso, um, inter introduced that that store on his channel that is amazing uh so this is transmetal uh cheetor his first form i think there's another one and i had the black repaint um of that one but some kind of werewolf i had him i lost a bunch of his limbs his gun and i don't know i gave up on him i guess but uh cheetor did come with this this is actually pretty cool there you got his uh, tech specs. I can't believe they did this back in the day. Or, you know, had a little collectible card. Uh, I mean, there's nothing on the other side. 
this is an eyeball. Um, oh, geez, and they came out. And also, they got the instructions so you can cut out. That's very cool. Um, let me put that card back in. Um, so yeah, for that, I sold off like uh, M MPM uh, Optimus Prime. Some of my Menton box collection. Um, uh, like uh, Walmart exclusive, the last night hot rod, the reissue G1 uh, hot rod. Uh, um, the first movie Ratchet for Serious Series. Man. It was so, I think, uh, I think there, there's more. Uh, the Thrilling 30, Rat Trap, um, and some loose figures. Um, I think there's more Mint and Box stuff. I just can't think of it. And, uh, what's the other one? The Legacy White Tiger. Yeah. So, um, I sold that off to him and, uh, I got a good bit amount of uh, money from that. And I bought these two. Uh, so that was the first trip. Uh, the second trip. Um, let's see. Okay, I got... I sold some more stuff. Oh, jeez. It was just like loose figures. Um, my reissue... Much uh, of exclusives. Like a G, the GTO, G2, Bludgeon, uh, Revenge of the Fallen mold. Of, uh, and his G2 Megatron. So that green tank. Um, and if I ever find the sword, I'm definitely just gonna give it to him the next time I see him. Um, I got this dude, Tarantulas. <laughs> and, uh, I was kind of worried about these shoulders, but, um, they tab, well, <laughs> okay. They do tab into, uh, the shoulder, actual sh shoulder. Because it's on a double hinge that I did not know about. And some of the reviews didn't know that either until I watched, um... Oh, jeez. His, uh, his name, uh, escapes right now. He does the, the Plastic Attic, uh, stuff. He had, like, a white version of this one. The Fox Kid version of this guy. And, uh, yeah, I'll do that later. <laughs> All right, let me try to get him. Oh, okay, he didn't go that far. Let's see. And his other his gun fell off, but that's okay. Just hope he's okay. All right, let's uh, put this over here. So yeah, this guy is awesome. And I'm going to put, try and get everything in framed, I'm trying to. Um, I don't know what got me into, uh, when to get all these figures, maybe Kingdom. Um, there you go, that's, uh, uh, Tarantulas did come with, uh, that's Cheetos, over here. He did come with his own tech specs. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And if y'all want to read it. And he did come with his instructions. He was a little bit difficult. Um, now, I think the biggest one. This was $44. Um, I seen it the first time. And he's he's so nice. He let me... Kind of feel feel the figure and you know mess with it a little bit. Um, I don't know. That guy is just so nice. The owner, he uh, he lets you like. I mean, he lets you uh, like inspect your own in c in case you don't want to buy this or if Optimus over there, you notice he doesn't have a gun, and if you don't if you want him to complete. I think he has one complete, but, um, you know, you don't have to get it. I mean, you just look at the figure, feel it. If you like the figure, you like what you're touching, 
you can buy it. Um, this is my first third party figure and he, I think for my first, he's pretty cool. Um, this is Toy World um, Hardbone. Clearly he's a hardhead. And he's pretty tall. Maybe a tall Voyager. But, um, okay, so the first trip, I seen this guy, I messed with him a little bit. Um, I looked at some reviews, and this, I seen that they, there's clear plastic on this, and that's where the feet rotate and stuff, and it's kind of scary. I hate clear plastic. Um, that's why I want a Menton Box uh, Siege Mirage. Um, so it's that, that's scary, then, uh, these little pegs fold out, and that's for, to plug the arm into the body for, um, vehicle mode. But, I am very happy with my purchase. Um, um, you can even fold this down, and instead of, like, uh, text, like, uh, stats of the figure... Whenever you would put the head in the G1, there's this little engine block, fully painted. His arms painted. This guy is awesome. Um, and let's see. He does have a sword. It's in this one. All holstered up. Right in there. That's <laughs> that alone is pretty cool. And he had a some kind of silencer-looking thing. Um, maybe I'll track it down. Um, this one didn't come with it. Um, it probably can get easily lost. Maybe the owner lost it or something. But, um, nonetheless, he's really cool. Um, he had another, uh, third party, uh, I don't know the, the company, but, um, it's something Columbio... Columpio. It's like a Dinobot, uh, the Brontosaurus Dinobot. And that was like $68, and this was 44 so I just cheaped out and got this, and I am super happy. I think maybe one day I'll like to probably get the Dinobot, just have another third party figure. Um, he did come with his box. And there's, uh, instructions and stuff. You see Hardbone... It's a very nice box. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. And what's over here? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I'll put that right there. You can like take the knife out. You can obviously make him hold it, um, or you can put it on his gun. Just tab that in, and there you go. That's uh, one look you can do. You can also remove this. This was on top of the big gun, the larger one, right here. So yeah, you can move that around. Um, you can take both of these guns off, and if you lift this up, you can tab it in, put the knife in like that, or maybe, I don't know which way would be better. And you can take this off, and you have like a mega gun that he can hold. Um, let's see what else. You can fold these out, <laughs> and there's like molded grenades in there that's like rocket launchers or, or whatever that's awesome um so yeah i cannot wait to go back to that place uh i think next time i don't know i don't have anything right now that i want to sell um i think i sold a lot <laughs> and that's not even just at the store i sold stuff on facebook group so um so, um, I don't know, 
I'm not hurting for cash or anything. I don't want y'all to be worried. Um, I'm just trying to make my collection smaller. Um, and that's pretty it. Um, uh, let's see. I just want to make this video in case y'all not uh, following me on Instagram. I just wanted my YouTube peeps to <laughs> know what I've been up to. Um, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. It really helps a lot. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.